BMW Mini 2004 1.6 petrol alternator removal. First of all, um, best to remove the negative battery cable, um, put it aside, and then there was this um, patch solenoid over here on this bracket. So, and this was on, attached on top of it. You squeeze both, both connectors in, come right off. There's this connector underneath it and clip that off. Then there was this radiator hose um, connected here like this. Unclip the connectors, move it out of the way. Um, I put a container underneath the car to catch any, any coolant that's gonna drip down. Initially, I didn't want to remove the front bumper, but I found out the lower alternator bolt, I couldn't get to remove the, remove the bumper and this thing might be in the way when removing the alternator. So, um, also to get a ratchet onto the tensioner, um, you'll have to drop the engine um, down a bit. So what I did was I undone the engine, engine mount bolt enough to get a ratchet in there. I dropped it about an inch. You could see the gap here. Um, you see the gap there. I'll do all of them. I mean, you don't drop the engine completely down, but just enough so that you could get the tensioner in. Once I've done that, I move the tensioner backwards. Then I put a clip in the hole so it holds it there. So when I finish the job, I could put the belt on easily, then release, release it, the tensioner. So to remove the front bumper, the, um, there's an eight mil bolt here on both sides. You get it, you get it through um, the side of the wheel. You get it through the side of the wheel, eight mil bolt. So undo that, undo a 10 mil nut bolt at the bottom here, and maybe one or two clips at the bottom. One or two clips at the bottom. Once that's done, the alternate. Uh, once that's done, also the, there's a thirty mil, there's a thirty thirty mil T. There's a thirty mil torque socket, I believe. Thirty mil torque socket um, bolt on on the top of this around this here, I believe, on the bumper. You remove that as well, and the bumper comes out. And then you have to remove this bumper. Of the crash support um, bumper crash support and, and I think it's held in by how many bolts I think about five or six 30 mil nuts and you do that on both sides you get out of the way and then to move this a bit forward just enough forward you have to remove these clips these plastic clips you have to remove these plastic clips on this side of the bumper. All of them, you remove all of them. Then there's then there is a 10 mil bolt on this side. You remove that 10 mil bolt, and then you could get this far enough at the far enough front to undo the alternator. So I'll um, I'll proceed to take the alternator off, and then I'll let you know how far. Okay, now the bolts, I've removed this bolt to three times 10 mil bolt from the alternator. One was right at the bottom, imagine how long it is. There wouldn't be any way to get it out of the way without moving this radiator um, bra um, support bracket out of the way. So now once I've removed them, I twist the alternator around and clip the connector. And clip the first connector, then remove this battery, um, the positive battery not that one that's one reason um it's good idea to disconnect the battery because of this positive cable now that their connectors are off now we can proceed to remove the alternator Old alternator, new alternator. Connectors back on new alternator. Now I'm gonna mount it up. Twist it up this way. So I can do both the um, it with one hand. So hold on. Alternator back in, 
gonna um, tighten the engine mount to raise the engine up and then I'm, I'm gonna put everything back in order how I took it off after that you're gonna um, top up the coolant and then bleed it properly so um, there's one bleeding bleed um, screw here you open it up and there's another one on top of on top of the top hose you open both up top it up till they start coming out then you close it that's the end of the repair um, the tools I needed were plus gas for some rusty bolts um, more grips to undo the radiator clamps a pry bar 60 mil socket for the engine mount um, ratchet for the drive belt tensioner um, quarter ratchet and a deep um, 10 mil clip removal tool for the bumper um, 30 mil socket and an extension to remove the 30 mil on the bumper support um, a wobbly extension and an 8 mil to remove the 8 mil on the bumper that's about it thanks for watching if you like it subscribe more videos to come soon thank you bye